What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and today I have a very interesting episode for you guys. If you are into high-end home theater, or maybe you're looking to purchase and build a high-end home theater, you've probably heard of Mad VR. This is for a very special customer. Well, anyways, whenever you're looking to go and purchase these high-end electronics, you wanna make an educated buying decision. We're going out to M-Wave 2022 right now, and we're showing you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of Mad VR on a two 150 inch screens so that you can actually make that educated buying decision and feel confident that it's worth the money. That's what we're all about here at Dream Media is delivering the information to you guys, getting our hands on it and making sure we're delivering the ultimate home theater experience to our customers. So if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, you know who to call. Let's get into this video. And, uh, with all of the settings dialed to the point, so it'll match the brightness and the color of the uh, the seven thousand of the, of the six thousand uh, for the Mad VR. Let's roll it. We get lights, please. This is Envy handling the tone mapping, and the 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 menu is in HDR. So we've configured the ZDU to output always HDR. So the menu on the right, this is a result of tone mapping. These are lumen matched. All right, and they have both been calibrated, but I'm not turning anything on or off. I am leaving this how I run it at home. All right, so I'm not trying to boost things overly much. This is actually how I do demos at home and how I watch it when I want to enjoy things. Let's start the first clip. 6,000 with Mad VR, 7,000 without. So to give you guys an idea, Envy does tone mapping based on a frame by frame basis. We're not relying on metadata. We can use metadata from HDR, Dolby Vision, what have you as a reference point, but we actually do analysis at a pixel by pixel basis for every frame. And we map everything using color histograms to determine where and at what values we need to compress images so that we can maximize the amount of contrast and highlights that are saved through tone mapping. But natively through tone mapping, when you compress images, right, you lose both contrast and fine detail. So because of how Envy handles tone mapping, it's able to preserve both of those. So we're not actually boosting anything, we're preserving in this case. Envy, when it does tone mapping, is actually able, in one of its processes, splits the image into two pieces. One of those is going to be a high frequency part and one of those is going to be a low frequency part. The high frequency part is going to be all of the fine detail, all of the pixels that are very close together, like pores in somebody's face when you're looking at them that you can see detail, but the color is close enough that if you compress it too much, it just becomes one color because you need a nits value or a nits gradient to be able to see the different colors. If all the nits are the same, you can't see the detail. All right, guys, that is a wrap on our Mad VR comparison. With it, without it, is it worth it? Drop some comments down below and let me know what you guys think based off of this video. Obviously, we were here in person. We like to get our hands dirty. We like to make sure that we're selling products that we believe in. And I actually had one of my Dream Media Plus customers, John, who is building a killer Focal Dolby Atmos Theater say that he, he was there as one of the VIPs and he had told me that the NZ8 that he had purchased outperformed an NZ9 with Mad VR. Interesting, right? So you guys know that we don't just sell one package and say this is what you have to buy. We're kids in a candy store. We love this stuff. We love talking about it. We love giving you options. So FaceTime, Zoom with one of my specialists and let's create your dream home theater. 
We ship throughout the entire nation and now have preferred installers in 18 states. So we have you covered here at Dream Media. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. <laughs>